For nearly a decade, we've watched the saints as they rose from humble beginnings to becoming an unstoppable force of nature. In that time, we've seen how the saints rose to power. We've seen how the saints enact vengeance. What sort of childhood did you have? I just think there's more important things to think about than some bullshit holiday. Looks like someone never got on the nice list. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. There is no nice list. So Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Yule, Festivus? You don't care about any of it? That's right. You don't like the songs? Nope. You don't like the gift giving? I already take whatever I want. I said giving. Whatever. You don't get excited about setting up the Nightblade Nativity every year? Uh, that's slightly intriguing, but no. What about Santa? Fuck Santa. What's happening? Were we hit? No, the proximity alarm didn't go off. This is something different. Shandy? Fuck me. We don't have a lot of time. Claus is coming. What? Claus. A warlord from my time, your future. By the time we learned about him, it was too late. He was too powerful. The only chance we had to stop him was to send me back here to warn you. Oh, wait. If you could go back in time, why didn't you go back even further and warn us about Zinyak? Isn't that a little more important? Oh, you don't get it. This isn't about Earth. Come midnight, Christmas Day, Santa Claus is coming to town, and unless we stop him, he is going to put the universe on the naughty list. And trust me, you don't want to be on the naughty list. Sorry I asked. So Santa's evil? No, Zinyak's had Santa trapped for decades, slowly but surely degrading his mind. If we don't free him soon, it'll be too late, and he'll never be jolly old Saint Nick again. Guys, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. All right, all right, I'll save Santa. Oh, look, another terrible fucking sweater. Thanks, Kenzie. In Santa's nightmare world, the holiday spirit doesn't exist. So if you want to bring it back, you wear whatever it takes. Real guns aren't allowed here, so we'll have to check the store and do a little holiday shopping. Also, be careful of your language around Santa. We're trying to stay on his nice list. You're joking, right? Come on, the town department store is just ahead. What's with the crowd? They're here for the Crimson Cowboy Carbine Action 200 Shot Range Model Air Rifle. Crimson Cowboy! What have you done? Is this gonna be a lecture on being naughty? You have no idea what that causes. Look! Those who are naughty, look to the sky and see your doom with the naked eye. You willfully break the world's laws. Now feel the wrath of the mighty claws. Well, fudge. Come, come as fast as you can. You can't stop me or my gingerbread men. All I want for Christmas is you. Nice Cookies as bad guys. You know what? Fine. I'm shooting this guy down. Wait! Claws is still too strong, and you'll shoot your eye out!
My eye? <laughs> Santa? Is it really you? I always warn children about the dangers of such toys. But why do you look so thin? The holiday spirit doesn't exist here anymore. Claus made sure of that. So, Santa, how do we stop him? Start by ringing the holiday bells in the town park. That should bring a little spirit back to the people. We're here. Ring the bells and then let's kill Claus. My dear Shandy, don't let your metallic parts turn your heart cold as well. Remember the holiday spirit you felt when you were younger. You know my name? Sam. I'm sorry. I've had no choice but to harden myself to fight the war. I... I forgot how I used to be. Don't worry. That same girl is still inside you. In fact, I'll bet there'll be a brand new hockey sack under the tree for you this year. You need it? Thanks, Santa. I'm speeding this up. Bells began ringing in the cheer, but more needs to be done. And shooting more things won't work? There was once a theater in town that played one of the great holiday classics, but the projector was stolen and frozen in a pool by claws. Find that, and the people will remember what they loved about the holidays. So no shooting, but you want to play a movie? It is not just a movie! It is a symbol of all that is good about this time of year! Don't worry, Sam. We can get the projector. Take out the guards so they don't hurt the projector when you grab it. Breaking the ice is always my strong suit. Now, we must get it to the drive-in theater and turn on the magic of the season. You mean turn on the movie? Oh, it's more than simply that. 
creates a feeling of joy and happiness that comes with remembering the warmth this season brings to those who embrace it. That sounds crazy. Yes, now quit being a Grinch. I told the other you, I don't know what that means. The holiday spirit, it stings and burns. But that's not enough for the tide to turn. We brought him dead. But he's not defeated yet. The electricity here just isn't enough to keep the projector working. We need more. I noticed precisely that while viewing your progress from our ship. Meet me at the clock tower and I will increase the power. And it is a pleasure to meet you, Santa. Where's that floating tin can? Up! Oh, at the top of the clock tower! Keep Cross's minions from hurting me while I set up a conductor on this antenna. Is this what I think it is? A storm is brewing. Lightning is sure to strike. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. Yep, yep it is. Sam, do you know what happened to the North Pole? Sadly, I do. Claus has shown me images of an attack on my workshop. My head elf, Twinkle, has even joined me. Twinkle, I remember him very well. He's the one who took my arm. I'm sorry, my dear, but there is hope. The rest of the elves are being led by Tinson against Claus's naughty forces. And Mary? <laughs> Don't worry about Mrs. Claus, Shandy. I'm sure she can take care of herself and the North Pole until we arrive. That's good to hear. If Claus gets his hands on the North Pole, then we're in serious trouble. I need you to put your tongue on the pole to help conduct the electricity. The fuck you say? Not in front of Santa. Can we focus on how Sid wants lightning to hit me? No. Well then, I dare you. Hell no. But this has to be done. Fine. I double dog. Dare you. Now you two, are you both insane? Then you leave me no choice. I triple dog dare you. Well now, you know what that means, don't you? Jesus, are you all right? Randy, I'm not talking to you right now. The power is restored. Good luck defeating Claus. I can feel the people in town filling with cheer. Hurry, we must return to the drive-in. This may be the strangest thing I've ever done. The spirit's alive, but still I live. Come face me now, there's punishment to give. Don't let him fool you, he's weakening. Keep your suit on, Santa. I got this. The holiday here you cannot save. I will not go to an early grave. Quit with the posturing. You're going down, Claus. Wait! What are you doing? Oh my god! I had him, I swear I did. You cannot defeat Claus by doing naughty deeds, for those are what he thrives on. If Claus is going after the North Pole, then we have to stop him. Indeed, you are correct. We cannot leave Mary and the elves to face him alone. Wait, we're actually going to the North Pole? I finally get to see it before it's been destroyed. <laughs> and perhaps make sure it never is. <laughs> 